Hey guys, M2 Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Target Exclusives, the Mighty Morphin Ninja Yellow Ranger and the Mighty Morphin Ninja Red Ranger, the Ninjetti from the movie, but I don't think the show called them Ninjetti if I remember correctly. And um, I did, at Power Morphicon, um, the guy Scott Zillner, I think it is, he's like a toy consultant or something. He based, he confirmed that there are some licensing issues when it comes to the movie. Um, but I'm confused because they're doing the morphers, so maybe they can do the morphers, but not the figures. Um, it's all kind of confusing. These are officially TV show fi versions of the figures, but in my opinion, when you have like this look with the the half mask and you could see you know their face i think that's movie stuff but i think officially technically it is tv show stuff i don't think hasbro will ever actually come out and say that um but it's just kind of interesting things but anyway um we do not have to wait six months to get these ninjetti figures like we had to do with the first round of them the pink white yellow not yellow pink white black and blue um, cause the, you know, overseas and everywhere got them, you know, at one time and then it was like six months until we got them. Um, and then just a few more months later we get the red, yellow and pink has shown up in some places. There's a, there's a store in Stockton. It says they have two, but they've never found them, I guess. Um, and one, I happened to be in San Jose today and I saw that one store had, um, these in stock and they were loaded. They had a case of each on the peg. So that was really cool. Um, so we just need the pink, um, Ninja Ranger, which is not the same as the Kimberly. It will be the Catherine one, the cat one. Um, but, um, essentially right now, these two complete my Ninja Ranger team because we have black, we have blue. We have, stand up, stand, we have white, and pink. So yes, technically now the team is complete if I wanted to just have, you know, a pink ranger. It's just, it's complete when it comes to Kimberly. Um, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. Um, it's all essentially the same. They each come with like some kind of swoosh effect piece, and then they have the full mask, the, um, the headband only, and then... Uh, the full mask, half mask, full mask, and the headband only, and then, then an extra set of hands. Uh, so it's all pretty cool. Looking at the package, we get the awesome artwork by Tom Whalen. This is going to be amongst the, kind of some of the last ones of Tom Whalen that we get as we loop around. We get digital renders of the figures on the back of the package. Uh, no big deal there. Actually, you know what? One thing I didn't... Oh, they are pinless. I was going to say the digital render shows pinless, but the legs are pinless. Whoops, my bad. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm going to take these out and we're going to review them both together. Um, I'm not actually going to go over articulation because these are repaints, straight up repaints. That, I mean, that's the beauty of Power Rangers, right? For Hasbro, they're like, oh, we could do all these Rangers. We don't have to change body molds at all. We'll just repaint everything. It's genius, if you think about it. If you're running a company, that's like genius. So I won't be going over articulation because they are the same. All I'm going to do is essentially show you guys close-ups of the figures and show the team together because that's what it's all about. Okay, so here are the yellow and red Ninjetti Ninja Ranger figures out of the package, and they you you should already really know what to expect if you have the previous ones. So if you have the Kimberly figure, you already know what's going on with yellow. If you have black, blue, or white, Tommy, Billy, or Adam, um, you know what the Red Ranger is like. There's some funky things going on with the hips, but overall, you, you know they it's it's a fairly well put together figure. Some work a little bit better than others. Tons of Q, QC issues when it comes to these bodies. Body molds like my legs are are they're not super loose or anything but he definitely wants to do like the splits and stuff and then you know the the left leg is funky right at the hip so you know there's you know there's some weird things coming but overall uh not too bad we get the same basic type of accessories that we've seen before uh so let's get in for a closer look to look at the accessories the head sculpts and things like that we'll start with uh yellow Okay, so here we have the Ninja Yellow Ranger. This is Aisha. You can see here we have that nice power coin logo there for that bear um, during that time, the, the Ninja Megazord. Um, but it looks pretty good. I went through, cause, because there was an entire case on the pegs, I was able to go through all of them to see which one had the best paint apps for these diamonds. So a lot of gold trim, you know, with a little bit of white paint for the diamonds. They all came out looking really good on mine. I really have no issue, so I'm glad I was able to find one that really looked good. The gold trim on some of the, some of the suit, however, is a little bit wonky in some areas, and it's just not going to be perfect. Some of that's going to 
it because of all the like the wrinkled design in the mold and stuff like that so the gold paint just doesn't really look crisp or anything but it's not terrible here we have the full face mask um, and I really don't like this look for the Ninja Rangers so I'm gonna pop this off and let's change out some of the heads because I'm just not not a fan so we get this piece here so we're gonna lay that on the shoulders um, let's go with the unmasked head or just the headband head for Aisha and I think this looks good I think it's an improvement over the previous ones that we got here still the sh the plastic looks a little bit shiny but I think that looks pretty good overall she has the braided hair like that and that looks pretty good so this would be really good in the display but for me the way I display I like the half mask version so we're gonna pop that head off we're gonna put the half mask one on and this one you really have to force down because of this neck collar piece um, it just doesn't allow for it to get a real good fit on that neck unfortunately but as you can see there that looks pretty good, but this is definitely my favorite look for the Ninja Rangers when I think of them. This is the look that really, really comes to mind. And I like the way that looks. Um, in terms of accessories, besides those head sculpts, she also comes with these karate chop uh, hands here. These ones are straight out. And then the effect piece that she comes with, as you can see, it's like a swoosh effect piece. You can actually just plug, plug the hand in there and then you can do a swoosh effect as she's coming down kind of with the attack so that is pretty cool uh, moving on to red now okay so here we have rocky um the red ranger in here again the full mask i don't like the way this looks uh but same story as the yellow ranger full peg um a full case on the peg so i was able to go through each one to see which one i thought was going to really be the best and stand out in terms of paint apps because again gold trim with the white diamonds all looks pretty good we have the same thing kind of going on here but because it's a little bit larger those gold lines um, end up being painted a little bit more not as many wrinkles actually sculpted on there so it comes out looking a lot more clean um, there uh, but yeah the power coin ape looks really good there on the center of his chest um, he comes with um, as far as accessories we have this swoosh piece here and this one actually fits um, a fist so you can actually put his hand uh, in there and you can have, you know, a, you know, as he's going in for a punch, he's doing a swish um, type effect there. Looks pretty good. And then interchangeable hands. He has these karate gesturing hands here, so you can pose in a certain way. And those look really good. Came out looking nice. Uh, but let's check out the head sculpts. Again, full mask. Same, same sculpt as the other ones and everything. There's nothing different. It's just this one happens to be red. But we're going to pop this off, pop off this collar piece. We're going to place this other collar piece on there. And you kind of have to make sure that you get it into the grooves. Like it wants to sit up there a little too high. So we want to make sure we push that down. Uh, let's go with the bandana look so we could see how Rocky looks. So we want this collar piece to stay down there. I'm going to pop Rocky's head on there. Watch out because the headband has the parts that stick out. There we go. Okay, and then there is Rocky. Now, do we think that looks like Rocky? Um, kind of, but not really. I think Hasbro definitely has a hard time getting the likeness to Rocky. Uh, Steve Cardenas, um, just right. I, I, I see, you know, a young Rocky in there, but I, I, I don't think this is very good. I think the metallic Red Ranger... Uh, Rocky head sculpt is better, not great. The blue Zeo one uh, was absolutely terrible. Um, but this one, I, I guess it's passable, but yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I don't think it came out uh, nearly as well. So uh, let's pop that one off and let's take a look at the half mask because, again, this is my favorite look and the look. You know, the, how I display them on my shelf, this is the look. And I think that looks really good. And, you know, you can't really necessarily tell that that's Rocky under there or whatever. Uh, but I think the sculpt of it uh, does look really good. And, you know, seeing the half mask, I'm a big fan of that. I really like that look there. Big fan. You guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? Which head sculpt do you prefer the most? Is it the half mask like I do? Or is it the full mask or the headband look? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so before I get I show the whole team together, what I want to talk about, and I know you know it's probably going to come up, knees and elbows use a different type of plastic, um, so the shades end up being a little bit different. So these knee pads, or well, not 
pet knee pads, but the knees themselves, those joints, are brighter red, kind of like the elbows. I don't think it's coming off too well on, in, on video, but the elbows and the knees are a brighter red, and that's because of the different ty uh, types of plastic. It's not so much an issue on yellow. You can see it a little bit in the shade of it, but it's really um, not that bad, so just, you know, a heads up on that. But again, I will not be going over articulation. I will have, at the end of this video, you'll have a link probably right here um, to uh, some of the other videos. I think I did black and blue together and then I'll also include another video maybe right here for the Pink Ranger video. That way you guys can see the articulation, but we'll just get through this quickly and we'll take a look at the entire team together uh, because that was the big thing I was excited for. I'm like, oh, okay, no pink, that sucks. But hey, I can actually have the complete team now. So um, let's check it out. Okay, and here are the Ninja Rangers together, and it's freaking awesome that we have the entire team. I'm really excited um, that we have these. When I was a kid, it was all about the Zords and things like that, I, and I think at some point it started to become less about the Power Rangers themselves in terms of toys of what I had. Um, so now that I actually have Ninja Rangers in action figure form from Lightning Collection, which is a line uh, that I love, I think they do a really good job, even though this these figures have have some QC issues the hips are all weird and there was a number of issues with the first wave of them like mispackaged things all kinds of crazy stuff um, hopefully you know all that's been resolved in the second wave there are no issues or anything like that but having all these figures together just makes me so happy I think they look awesome together um, and I'm just I'm 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 I, it's hard to even express it into words if that makes sense, right? So Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was huge for me when I was a kid. I loved it. Um, everything about it. I had so many of the toys. I used to have this friend. We played on the playground. We we're pretending to be Power Rangers. Just all kinds of stuff. So the nostalgia factor it is huge for me. Um, and, you know, having these figures now, it's just... Oh, man. It's like when I was a kid and having these things again. You know, I, I don't play with these with these figures or anything like that. Um, but just having them, it, it just, you know, it's that like special thing. It's like, man, how cool is this? You know, back 30 years ago when I was a kid, having some toys of these 30 years later as a grown ass man and having more toys of these, it's just, it's kind of a wild thing. You know, you know, we, we, we collect action figures, you know, we love toys, whether the, the love caught love we got fell in love with them later on in life or we really never lost that love obviously you know there was a huge time span when i didn't have any toys of any kind my kids had a bunch of toys and things like that and i always appreciated you know finding monster high dolls and stuff like that for my daughters you know going on the hunt for those things and then you know when my divorce and i started getting into collecting um it just circles back and it's 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 kind of a wild thing so these Ninja Rangers, you know, just having them, you know, it's cool that they're in the collection, but sometimes, you know, some of these pieces of plastic can mean a little bit more. So um, it's pretty freaking awesome to have the complete Ninjetti team. Um, even if they aren't technically movie figures, even if that movie wasn't the greatest, um, it's just awesome to have these things together. Ninja or was in the show, you know, he wasn't in um, the movies, but so I kind of threw him, you know, back there, but... Um, it's it's pretty awesome. But anyway, you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think of these Ninjetti figures? I know there's QC issues, but in general, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, red and yellow are hitting stores now. Pink should also be kind of hitting stores now. I think Target had updated and, and put a release date of October 2nd across all of them. So hopefully pre-orders pre will start shipping out soon um, and things like that. But again, let me know um, all you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Um, if you guys are interested in becoming a channel member, hit that join button to uh, join the MCU Collective. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.